Yes, legends, welcome back to the channel. As always, guys, in today's video, I'm going to do a quick fire price update for the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some altcoins as well. I'm actually, I'm actually going to make these videos more of a regular occurrence as well as doing my long live streams. You guys know I stream for like hours on end uh, because I'm going to do these quick form, uh, quick fire price updates. I'm going to go through medium, sorry, I'm going to go through long, medium, and short term analysis of every single asset I look at, predominantly Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I'm going to give you my, what I think, I'm going to give you my hunch, I'm going to give you my predictions of where I think Bitcoin's going to go. I'm also going to show you my indicators, guys, the MDX signals indicators in these videos, how to get hold of those, etc., and that kind of stuff. I'm going to go through all the strategy I use to basically come to a conclusion how I trade Bitcoin. I'm going to give you my entries, my exits, that kind of stuff. So, guys, let's start with the long term. Then we'll go medium term and short term uh, price analysis. And basically, we're going to go through the price of Bitcoin right now. So, in the long term, guys, macro, uh, Bitcoin is looking very, very good. We actually have now got a confirmed, make it really simple for you guys, we have a confirmed higher high on the price of Bitcoin. We have a higher high and also guys we are carving out right now we know from thirty thousand dollars from the january lows i should tell you the january lows were here when we had the june lows here we actually have if you swing low we actually have a higher low as well guys we have a higher low and a higher high on the price of bitcoin that means we're in an uptrending bull market right now guys the price of bitcoin in the macro long-term picture for me is looking very very good you guys know that i look at the cbbi guys the cbbi is my long-term uh, basically indication or index there's actually 11 indicators in one index which is, is giving us a good idea of where we are in the bull market cycle and it looks like we're about 62 percent of the way there until the top of the bull market guys so macro guys Bitcoin's looking great. I think we're going to have a continuation, break the high. And actually, we already have broken the high. Uh, I think we actually will break the, the high again and continue up to that. those upside targets, guys, on the long term. I think Bitcoin can go up to 80,000 and even up to 110. I think my next target, guys, is between 90 and $110,000 for Bitcoin to stop for a next major correction, okay? So on the on the long term macro, guys, Bitcoin's looking great. I believe we're going to go much higher looking at the long term metric look at. Now, medium term, guys. So on, the, on my stream yesterday, I said that I believe Bitcoin could potentially see a little bit of short to medium term downside. And actually, that has actually played out on the short term pretty darn beautifully. You can see on the hourly right now, guys, that I did say that if Bitcoin can't get above the previous high price or the lid of the move, guys, so we come into this. This is the inflection point, guys. This is the SR flip here. This is the support resistance level. You can see we found resistance on this multiple times. And then when we broke it, big rally up. Uh, resistance then turned to support three times, guys. So we have resistance, 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 support, 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 SR flip. Uh, and now what you see here is, guys, we had a break, uh, a, a, a flush back down to previous support levels. A rally up, guys, can't at the moment. It can't get over the EMAs. This, this white line is the EMA lines, the 21 and 55 exponential moving averages. And I say, guys, if we can't get above this level here, we're likely going to see a push down to $60,000, which we've actually just got. And I will be a buyer at that level for another bounce, okay? For a short-term bounce to buy this level on my medium-term swing, it's already been done. And if we do then come back down, guys, continue the trend down with the EMAs, we will break this and then even go lower as well. And I think 58500 is the next target. And I even see, guys, um, that's kind of short-term, I'd say, right there. Uh, and I, I said that yesterday, guys. If we can't get above this level, we're going to go lower. We've got that right now. Uh, and then, guys, if you go to like more of the medium-term, the 12-hour and the 4-hour, uh, I would say that I think Bitcoin, if actually let's look, let's look at the daily right now on the stochastic RSI. I would say that um, you can see here, guys, that we do have bearish divergence, already played out the bearish divergence, to be fair. But I would say that Bitcoin coming down to that 52,000, uh, between 54 and 52,000 region, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see that happen, guys, looking at the, st the stochastic RSI on the daily. It's actually moving pretty darn quickly down right now. Also, guys, what we look at, um, what I look at a lot is the oscillate, the MDX oscillator TDI, guys. And you can see here, guys, we did actually get two counts we had a warning shot a warning shot guys and a bearish re-entry and what this means is that the, the market is overbought, guys. And what we're seeing now is a result of the overbought nature of the market. It's not sustainable. That sun is coming straight onto my screen. I can literally not see anything going on right now. But the moral of the story is, guys, on the TDI, this is the MDX signals indicators, guys. You can get access to these through the MDX trading portal. I'll go into that in a second. The link is below to the MDX trading portal. But... um. The TDI is, is, uh, was showing us that this is overbought, right? And we're actually now getting some sort of resolution. Uh, it's not sustainable. I said yesterday, I do think we get some more downside, and we are getting it right now in the lower time frames. And the next level to hold, guys, is $60,000. Uh, 60k is going to be important obviously that's a big uh, round number it's a, it's a psychological number not as significant as 50,000 but 
I don't think we're going to get to 50k if we if we if we're looking at the support we got down there. I've just just spoke about that a second ago. I think 58.5 between 54 and 52 we find support. And uh, uh, you know, right as of now, guys, for this level basically needs to hold sixty thousand dollars. If we come up now and we get resistance even on this level here, guys, and we come back down, it's likely we're going to get some sort of descending formation and get a break. Uh, and that would result if you want to do measured moves on this, it will probably result us taking us down to around that 54k region anyway. I think 58,500 isn't as significant as between 54 and 52. And that goes into nice confluence, guys, with the levels we were looking at in terms of the previous high price. Okay, so bull markets, they like to, the bull, the bulls like to take the stairs and the bears jump out the window. Uh, we have resistance here, guys. That's actually coinciding with the previous distribution we had as well. And you can see that um, as the market begins to step ladder up, uh, the market likes to come back and test SR levels. Okay, what was resistance turn support, etc., vice versa. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Bitcoin come down this far. But I won't be um, scaling in. Oh, well, I will be scaling in, but I won't be waiting to buy the previous high with all of my position. I will actually be scaling into my positions along here or on all of the relevant support zones. Because if you get a bounce, you get a bounce, you get a bounce. It means that you go straight into into positive P and L, limiting your risk. Meaning that if you do that, if the market does go keep keep falling, you can have a stop loss, which means you don't lose money. The number one fucking thing in this game is not losing money. It's not about making money trading at the beginning. It's about not losing money. Okay, so always remember that. Um, you want to be basically buying inflection points to put your the statistical edge in your favor that you don't lose, okay? Medium to short term, I think we do probably get some sort of pullback here. You know, having a look at this right now, though, you know, we have done enough. That This is enough, in my opinion. I thought we we're going to get the 60K retest. We've got 60,000. Uh, I am. I have bought this region. I have bought this on a limit order. Okay, so I am long on this. If we come up, guys, I'll get stopped out like that, and then I'll buy the next level. Okay, so I'm going to keep keep buying on the way down, increasing that medium term position. So looking at long to short ratio, guys. So on Binance, actually, there's a lot more longs in the market, but on BYBT, it's actually pretty much equal. So I'm going to say that there there is a, there, there is a little bit more long the longs in the market, which does again have confluence with potentially the market going down further. We know that the market makes the fools out of the most people. So if the market's overextended long, especially in range environments you usually see the market uh, reverse on them on the retail uh, which can, which actually can cause long and short squeezes um, but right now guys we are trending so I don't put as much weight on it but that is in something to, uh, to keep in mind let's quickly glance at ethereum as well a lot of people trading ethereum so I think ethereum actually is a very good looking chart as well to be fair um, it actually did retest its previous high price the actually all-time high right there and this is an ascending formation with a breakout of a trend line coming down as well so if as long as we're in this zone in here guys it's very very bullish actually I don't think uh, the, the barest case for, for Ethereum is basically breaking the EMAs. Obviously, I show EMAs. This trend line is important, guys. If this comes down here and we break that, that's your first sign that I think Ethereum is going to go for some lower prices. Maybe Bitcoin will join it, maybe going back down to 52. That'll be my first level. So if Bitcoin goes to 52, you could see Ethereum probably coming back down, something like that, and then continuing. Uh, probably doesn't break this level here, actually. It might even hold this trend line. Could even just be there. But generally speaking, guys, Ethereum's in ascending formation right now. It's uptrending. It's making higher highs. It's making higher lows. As soon as it breaks above this, guys, it's the confirmation. I think Ethereum can go much higher. I think if I think if Bitcoin goes to 300k, I think Ethereum could go to 40k. Uh, so as long as above this trend line, guys, you're, you're long until proven otherwise. And you're you're kind of long until proven otherwise on the macro anyway on all these charts because you know yes, short term downside we can get it, uh, but I'm going to be looking to accumulate. Um, on my medium term swing longs on all these positions anyway and i think the lowest we go guys is probably fifty two thousand dollars but we don't have to get it i'm not saying we're getting it 52 we could find support anywhere along here anyway right guys so if you want to trade this market use bybit for bitcoin and femex for altcoins these you can actually see these links in the description below if you actually use these links here guys you can actually get up to bybit's doing three thousand five hundred dollar bonus right now if you use this link here you can get a three thousand five hundred dollar bonus in bybit also femex are doing a two thousand five hundred dollar bonus when you sign up and you start trading Trading. I basically use yeah Bybit trade Bitcoin and Ethereum Femex for altcoins. Um, I would recommend getting both of these exchanges, guys, to hedge against each other. All the links through the description, as you can see, uh, and basically yeah, use the links to get bonuses, and it's a great way to start trading the markets with the best exchanges I personally use. Also, if you want to get access to my indicators, guys, the MDX signals indicators, go over to the MDX trading portal. The link is below, and uh, just get all these bonuses, guys. And also, you can check out my website, um, MDXcrypto.com, MDXcrypto.com. And you can actually go through here and see all the best products in crypto. Uh, and the ones I recommend exchanges, guys, are Bybit and Femex. They are the best exchanges, in my opinion. E even Binance, you can get a link there for 10% 10, 10 off fees. But check it, all, check it all out, guys. You're all legends. And have a great evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you freaking are. See you on the flip side. Cheers. Bye-bye.